Hi, this is Props, a series of new plays inspired by people who support others. I'm Zuneika. My dad's been in custody for 12 years. This play isn't my story, but it's a drama about community and how to stay close to someone in prison. The I in Unify by Stephen Myatt Meadows. to drill anymore. Um, I think you'll find they do, Helen. Uh, listening to drill is like doing tabs. What's tabs? Sorry, what's drill music? It's music that teenagers listen to. Hello. Oh, sorry, no, we're not right until 12. Oh, Jesus. So, uh, it's what teenagers listen to about yes, two years do. ago. How are you? Sean said no drill. And why do you want to play the drilling music? We want something that teenagers will like. But you can't go wrong with Snow Patrol. Uh, everything is wrong with Snow Patrol. We are not having Snow Patrol, Yvonne. Hello, uh, my name's James, Jim Tucker, and I am the founder of the Sanity Project. Uh, as you can see, this is a community project uh, and it's a place where locals can come together to share their skills and, and do things together to make the area a bit more community-led. Oh, sorry, I can't do this. Could you just hang on a second, mate? Hey, would you go and have a chat just for a sec? Yeah, sure. Hiya! Oh, gosh, you can tell this is the first meeting, can't you? I think it's a really great thing though, and I'm just glad to be a part of it really, after the year we've all had. So I'm one of the organisers. It is Jim's baby though. Yeah, but it was you who put the idea in my head. I'm his muse. Well, we're all neighbours. Uh, when um, the coronavirus hit, I realised that I didn't know anyone around me. My parents are down on the coast and vulnerable and and as you know, my girl is inside, so... So, yeah, when my work moved online, I realised I had nobody. No physical person that I could even see without a laptop or phone. And then one day, there's this knock at the door and... And it was me. <laughs> I opened it, there's nothing there but some caramel shortbread. I made the shortbread, knocked on the door and legged it. I'm Helen, by the way. I'm a yoga teacher. I was newly single in February last year and then we got locked down and I just lost my mind teaching yoga every day on Zoom in my living room. Well, there's only so many vinyasas a girl can take before she flips. <laughs> so I decided to make cakes for the street to stop myself from going under. Yeah. Do excuse me. And, and these cakes, well, oh, they just kept on coming. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Jim, where can these boys put their names down for God? Uh, Yvonne's got the forms. It's all on there. And then one day I decided, because I love gardening, I decided to offer to trim everyone's hedges. Then a deal made dull for everyone, and it grew from there, really. Yvonne's had a rough time. See, her husband Trevor died of COVID, and I can hear we, you talking about me. And we all came together as like a little community, just the four of us, trying to do something nice for people in the, in the local area. It was, there's a class from the sixth form who wants some info. Can you just go and talk to them quickly? Well, could you not? I'm sort of doing this. But I don't have the information. Uh, it's all there. In the leaflet, Ellen. A deal? Can you just so what we... this class in the sixth form? Uh, I'm doing the gardening. Oh, oh, for Christ's sake, Ellen. Yvonne, would you yeah. mind having a quick yeah. chat? Sorry. Hello. Hello. No, 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 not those. My name is Yvonne Thompson. I've been neighbours with Jim for 24 years. I've watched this area go from a place where neighbours were all friends to a place where they fear each other. I watched Sean grow up. I've regrets that I wasn't a role model for her. I regret that. You are receiving the call from... HMP, 
Carrington Fields. The person you're connecting to is Sean Tucker. Press 1 to accept the call. Hello, Pudding. Hiya, Dad. How's your day been? All right. What you been up to, then? Just got back from the gym. Oh, that's good. Oh, I stink now, though. What have you been up to? Oh, just setting up for the big launch. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, we're trying to figure out what to have on in the background. Uh, do you like drill music? <laughs> no. Why would I like drill? Well, isn't that what you're all into now? No. No one's into that anymore. Oh, God, it's really hard. Yvonne wants Snow Patrol. Oh, don't play Snow Patrol. Just put some Arlo Parks on. No one will have any issues with that. All right, hang on, let me just get a pen. Marlon who? Arlo. A R L O. L. Parks. Like parks with swings in them? Arlo Parks. You know, you should get one or two of the kids more involved. Oh, what, like get them to do a little talent contest? No, like get some of them to be board members with you so they have a voice in it. Oh, I don't know about that. You can't expect them to want to be involved unless you're willing to involve them properly. How can they be a board member with no experience? What experience do you have of being a board member? Oh, you know what I mean. Life experience. This is your chance to give them life experience. Where do you get that big brain and big heart from? I think we know that. I'm so sorry, Sean. Oh, Dad, don't. We're not doing this again now. So, uh, what have you learnt about on your course today? We're mainly covering melissopaleonology at the moment. Who? It's the study of pollen in honey. Oh, right. Well, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. Well, I don't know, do I? So, yeah, how's Nana and Grandad? Oh, yeah, loads better. We can all relax a bit now, they're fully vaccinated. Yeah. They're looking forward to seeing you. Yeah? Yeah, everyone is. Everyone? The whole street, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. A lot's changed round here. You'll like it. Sounds great. We've got a WhatsApp group. Check you out learning to use a phone. You think that's good? I can use Zoom now too. And Excel. Wow. That's Bill Gates controlling you since your vaccination, that is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, the Gorilla's gig has been put back again and all, so you'll be able to come. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. Look, I'm going to have to go. OK, Pud. Speak tomorrow. Love you. Love you. I suppose the hardest thing was accepting it. There's so many things that whirl around your head and it is really hard to come to terms with it all. Everything you thought to be true is just not anymore. Like, this is my girl, my baby girl. The girl who I pushed on a swing for endless hours, played hide and seek with, helped do her homework, taught her to cook. <laughs> the girl that I spent every Sunday afternoon with, curled up on the couch watching Monsters Inc. over and over again. <laughs> Until I wasn't cool enough anymore. You like. Ah, oh, it was the wrong crowd. She got in with the wrong people. That's understandable. Yeah, yeah. Something kicked off and she found herself caught in the middle. She didn't go up to a bar, unprovoked, glass a man and beat the shit out of him in front of his wife with her mates dragging her off. That little girl with the bright smile and best cuddle she didn't do that. Jim, Jim, ah. can you please tell Adil to help me because just, I am just, overrun just, just and he's just stood there. You're doing yoga and I'm doing cooking. Yes, but nobody's coming. Well, they're not to going to come if nobody's there, are they? Help me, you can Why talk to them. Why does everyone always have to do everything for you? What? Right, guys. You just stand there expecting everyone to do everything Send for you. Send them out on Universal Credit. Everyone oh, help me, me. me. Shut up, both of you. You've both just driven everyone away. Grow up. Adil, go and get coffees for us all. Helen, get organised. I want you back here in...
in 10 minutes, ready to apologize. Go! James, you carry on. I'll try to get the people back in. Thanks, Yvonne. <laughs> Can't remember where I was now. Um, oh, yeah. Well, so, you know, basically everyone knew. Find yourself in Asda, queuing up, and you know there's someone whispering about you that you've never seen before in your life, so, yeah, you know, shut myself away. But now, <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous, isn't it? No one's coming back, are they? You are receiving the call from HMP, Carrington Fields. The person you're connecting to is Sean Tucker. Press 1 to accept the call. Hello, Pudding. Hi, Dad. You all set? Yeah. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. Why are you nervous? Oh, I've never done anything like this before. It's going to be great. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, did I tell you? The radio were coming. Really? Yeah. Check you out, you celebrity. Oh, no. You'll be on Piers Morgan's life stories before you know it. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> I bet you would. So I could smack him. <laughs> <laughs> Cretin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about everything, love. Oh, Dad, don't. Please don't. Look at what you're doing. I should have been there for you. What more do you want me to say, Dad? Do you think I don't know? Oh, sorry. Are you, though? Yes. Because it seems to me like you're not, really. I am. It feels like you only ever say sorry so you can hear me say no, it's all I right. I really am. OK, well, do me a favour. Stop going on about it because I ain't your therapist, Dad. Look, it's great what you're doing. And I'm really proud of you. Look, I'm, I'm going to have to go. OK, Pud. Speak tomorrow. Speak tomorrow. Love you. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. See that? That's what it's all about. That's why we're doing this. We're going to have a big football match next month to raise money for the project. Look at this list. 39 people already signed up. Bishop's Park, next week, 10 a.m. Five pounds to join in. Pay what you want. It's a suggested five pound donation. I'm doing a massive warm up, and yes, it would be to drone music. And they're having a big football match. It's on an eye Cheerleaders. I'm not cheerleading. I'm the ref. I'll cheerlead with you. Oh, okay. Um, right. Then a big warm down yoga with yours truly. And I'll be selling some food. And I'll be selling some cakes. And it was all thought up by the people who came today. And we have two new board members. Sharice and Jacob. It was all their idea, really. It's just... Ah, oh, I'm so happy. This is the point of this whole thing. So many of these kids have been left behind because of COVID and it's my, it's our responsibility to be there for them, help them. I mean, there's nothing for them to do. There's nowhere to go, no jobs, no education. Seriously, I mean, this government have really screwed the next generation. I mean, I voted Tory. Wait. What? You voted Tory? You seem to like no. I just think that it's on us, ultimately. We voted for this lot. I didn't. And that's on us. So I see it now as my responsibility to right these wrongs for my community. <laughs> I'm just so blessed to have these wonderful neighbours who are willing to join me. Friends. Oh, uh, ultimately, bless. if you'd said to me two years ago, I'd be doing something like this now, I'd have laughed in your face. But now, I can't think of anything I'd rather do in my spare time. Sing. Living our best lives. I just can't <laughs> believe that something so positive has come out of something so bad. You guys should come and report on the match. Great idea. Yeah, bring your kit along. Record oh, I've got one of my cameras. students as a reporter for oh, the Oh, excellent. Yeah. Give a well, call. You are receiving the call from HMP, Carrington Fields. The person you're connecting to is Sean Tucker. Press 1 to accept the call. 
Hello, Pudding. Hi, Ar. How was it? Oh, my God. It was, it was amazing. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, we've loads set up. Great. And they've set up a Snapchat group. Yeah? Yeah. They registered me with it. But I forgot my password. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, we've got young board members. Great. Uh, and a big meet-up today in Bishop's Park. Oh, and you'll never guess what. Helen and Adil have started dating. I thought they... Mm, makes sense, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the course of true love never did run smooth. <laughs> so, are we all set? Yep. How are you feeling? Terrified. Oh, there's nothing to be scared of. Everyone's looking forward to seeing you. And I've got some stuff planned. Oh, Dad, I don't want a weird getting out party. Uh, no, no, no. I've, I've booked us an Airbnb in Folkestone. Th three nights. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've missed the sea. Yeah. I thought I'll pick you up and drive you down there. We'll just have a chill there for a few days. Then come home. And then the gorillas gig. And then the gorillas gig. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I've missed you so much. Missed you too. Well, so, I'm, I'm all packed. I've just grabbed a load of clothes of yours and we can nip to a shopping centre on the way and get you some stuff. I'm driving up at the crack of dawn. Great. And Dad? Yeah? I know it'll be early, but can we get KFC? <laughs> You could have a whole bargain bucket to yourself. <laughs> The Eye in Unify was performed by John Vernon, Lily Driscoll, Jackie Dubois, Manish Kapil, Helen Russell Clark, and Alex Wilton Reagan. The prop series is directed by Sarah Meadows and produced by Naomi Turner from an idea by Lucy Bell. It's edited by Jack Drury with music by Ben Quasi Burrell. Audio production is by Ant Hickman and Katie Wood. Props is a documental theatre production supported by the Audio Content Fund.